Four Ways to Help Improve Quality of Life After Breast Cancer Treatment Anyone who's been treated for breast cancer has probably wondered which was worse, the cancer or the treatment. And for many women, treatments can seem to go on forever. This leaves the prospect of living a happy, fulfilling life even more challenging. But through research and the experience of thousands of women, cancer centers now agree that it's more important to treat the patient, not just the disease. In this video, we'll share some helpful insights on living with a history of cancer. But first, we'd like to thank our sponsor, Breast Cancer Index. It's a test that may help women with ER positive, early stage breast cancer decide with their doctor whether to extend or end antihormonal therapy after five years. Number one, stress reduction. Stress is the hardest symptom to handle, but the best place to start. From the impact of diagnosis, through the uncertainty of recurrence, stress has a way of controlling your life. Stress contributes to fatigue, insomnia, pain, depression, and affects your personal relationships. The good news is, there's been considerable work in stress management techniques, especially for cancer survivors. One of the most effective programs called Mindfulness-Based Stress Reduction, or MBSR, brings together meditation and yoga, and is now taught in many comprehensive cancer centers. Research found that participants in MBSR significantly reduced their use of pain medication and increased feelings of self-esteem. Speak to your doctor or cancer coordinator to connect with a stress management specialist near you. Number two, weight management. Postmenopausal women who are overweight have a 30 to 60% higher chance of developing breast cancer, according to the Susan G. Komen Foundation. Weight gain increases stress and fatigue while diminishing feelings of well-being, optimism, and self-esteem. A healthy diet such as the Mediterranean diet or anti-inflammatory diet may contribute to increased energy, quality sleep, fewer toxins, and sustainable weight management. In addition to your diet, the most common reaction from survivors starting an exercise program is a feeling of beginning the path back to wellness. Walking helps improve circulation, balance, muscle strength, and reduces stress, and is the most widely recommended exercise after and even during treatment. Research has shown that many women may not benefit from anti-hormonal therapies after the first five years. Ask your doctor about the breast cancer index to help decide if additional anti-hormonal therapy is likely to help prevent your particular cancer from returning. Number three, bring sexy back. Talking about challenges in the bedroom is not easy, and after surgeries, radiation, and the further insult of vaginal dryness, your hormone-starved libido creates even more stress, which is the arch enemy of sexy. Number four, recognize depression. Talk to your doctor if you're feeling depressed or anxious. You may need adjustments in your medications or perhaps the help of a psychologist. You might also benefit from a holistic evaluation offered through many cancer centers in which a certified, trained provider evaluates additional options. Also, exercise has been shown to be powerful in fighting depression and improving your overall quality of life. Consider getting active if you aren't already on an exercise routine. The most successful approach to recapturing happiness after breast cancer is to create a positive outlook. Believe it is possible. It may seem unreasonable, but many women find a life of joy and purpose in spite of their cancer experience. Most begin with a commitment to create a new, healthy life that is meaningful and fun. The next step is finding help. Remember that you are not alone. There's a huge community of survivors who are discovering tools to cope with any barrier you're facing. To get more practical tips for breast cancer patients, be sure to subscribe to Breast Cancer Answers here and leave your own questions in the comments below. We'll do our best to answer your question in future videos. Finally, we'd like to thank our sponsor, Breast Cancer Index. To find out more about your treatment options beyond year five, just click the button and download our free list of 15 questions to go through with your doctor.